Hey guys, what's up? I have a new movie review for you today. Today, I'm gonna review the X-Men Trilogy. Uh, this is a double pack. And this is the third one. So let's begin with the first. <clears throat> so what's about... Well, finally we didn't see any origin, like within Fantastic Four. God. Um, so that's a really good thing. Um, you know, it starts with, you know, a lot of people who, you know, all these mutants uh, find out about their power and all that. And, you know, in, I think it was government or something, like, talking about that the mutants are maybe dangerous. And some people say they want to see what the special abilities they have and they want to see what they can do and all that. Um... And, um, you know, Charles Xavier and Magneto. <clears throat> Magneto is the bad guy, of course. And, you know, they've been old friends. But, um, you know, like, Magneto just says, Don't stand my way. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, um, and Magneto, he has evil plans about, uh, making everyone in the world mutants, I think, or something like that. And it's only one mutant that has the power uh, to do that, and that's Rogue. And she has the ability, or she uh, ever touch someone, they... <clears throat> well, in comics, uh, the one she touch, she gets their power, or something like that. But in this movie, he... she almost killed him by just touching them. Um... So yeah, we see Wolverine, uh, he has a lot of, you know, nightmares and all that, seeing, uh, you know, of course he can't remember anything, so, you know, he has some memories, come some memories, and all that, um, which is really interesting to see. Um, this film almost gives you a war message, uh, but what you get is just a little fight in the end, that's all. Uh, I thought the first one was great. Um, I think it's, um, it's a good beginning of an X-Men film. So, give it a chance. So, X-Men 2 is one of the greatest superhero sequels, well, Marvel sequels, so far. That film's great. Now, in this film, we see the whole origin of Wolverine. Uh, we meet William Stryker, who uh, created him. And, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, you know, um, William Stryker, he, um, you know, he, he, um, uh, he's, he order, I think it was the president, well, you know, William Stryker, he has plans to attack, um, Xavier's school, so he, he makes, um, Nightcrawler, uh, you know, he ordered him with some, you know, like, he put some kind of a serum or something in hair, and he can control them or something like that. And he makes Nightcrawl come to the White House and attack there and almost kill the President. And then when the President tells this to William Stryker, uh, he, William Stryker orders the President to uh, put a war on the mutants. So, here we finally get kind of a war thing, and, um, that was great, you know, it was a great plot, so, Wolverine, he finds William Stryker, well, he, he, he meets him in the school, and then he wants to go to, um, the Alkali Lake to meet him and kill him, uh, so he finds out what origin and all that, it's just great, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a great, you know, is a great sequel to um, a great superhero movie. Um, you know, you saw some memories from Wolverine at first, and then it follows in the second. You know, you saw some some scenes of Wolverine still have some memories, uh, you know, nightmares and all that. And then, finally, in the end, you see the whole origin. Well, not a whole origin, but what happened in there. How he got his claws. And it really, it, it they does a great job telling Wolverine's origin. Uh, so you really don't need to know his past. 
So that was just great. Uh, and uh, the X-Men have to team up with uh, Magneto, which is real cool. It's uh, almost like a battle against Apocalypse in the comics, you know, where evil and good had to, you know, like X-Men and Brotherhood, they had to team up to go against Apocalypse and his army. That's great. So X-Men 2 was definitely a great film, and check it out. And of course we knew it would be a third one because the war hasn't ended. And the title I thought was great. X-Men The Last Stand. It sounded like it would be the last film and the third film, so it would be a great trilogy. It would be a great war with I and all that. Uh, you know, we saw Jean Grey uh, becoming the Phoenix. And, you know, if you have read the Phoenix comics, check them out because they're mind-blowing. You just have to check it out. And, uh, you know, when the movie began, it actually looked like it would be the Sentinels. It, you know, this this film started so great. You know, it was like the Sentinels attacked, you know. And I love the Sentinels. They're, they're robots that destroys mutants and all that. And I thought it would be full out war and it would be awesome. Now it was just a training shit. <laughs> training shit. Well, every it was just like a hologram training. Now first off, how do they know about the Sentinels? I haven't se seen them in the two first movies. So how do they know about the Sentinels? Now what this movie is about, pretty simple. The humans find out about a cure to the mutants to become human again. And then, Magneto, he wants to stop them. And making a war with a lot of teenagers mutants. And that's it. This film sucked. I hate this. You know, after the second film. I was just so hyped about seeing the third one. It was just... <clears throat> if you want to see good action films, check out the two first. This is fucking piece of shit! Now you never see that movie if you haven't seen it. Don't look at the cover or anything because the movie sucked! Anyways, check out these. They're awesome. Stay tuned for my review of X Men Origins Wolverine. Rate and comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.